In our previous video, we have made the connection introduction and the interface display of JAB2 and JAB3. Today, in this video, we will show you how to connect JAB3 with JAB2 to get a new 2.1 or 4.0 system with both DSP and Bluetooth integrated. As you know, JAB2 only has a stereo mode, while JAB3 has mono mode and stereo mode. So, when stereo mode JAB2 and stereo mode JAB3 are used, that is the 4.0 system, 4 channel 30 watts or 4 channel 50 watts. When stereo mode JAB2 and mono mode JAB3 are used, that is the 2.1 system, 2 channel 50 watts and 1 channel 100 watts, or 2 channel 30 watts and 1 channel 60 watts. If you want to connect JAB2 with JAB3, you need to have a special cables kit AAJA11116. This special cables kit has every function you need for the connection between JAB2 and JAB3, including one audio connection cable between JAB2 and JAB3, one control connection cable between JAB2 and JAB3, three LED indicators cables, and one battery charging cable. There is also a switch control cable for JB2 in the cable's kit. Now we will use 2 channel 50 watts JB2 and 1 channel 100 watts JB3 to show you how to build a 2.1 system. We use 6 pin audio connection cable and 3 pin control connection cable to connect the JB2 with JB3. Please pay attention to the notes when using the 3 post port on JB3 marked in blue. And we connect the two speakers to the output stage of JB2 and connect the subwoofer to the output stage of JB3, just like this. JB2 and JB3 can be powered up separately by two different power supplies but it's suggested to power up the boards using one adapter. We can also power up the system with batteries. This is Wondem 18650 Lithium Balancing and Protection Extension Board AAJA11113. We need to connect it to both JB2 and JB3 to power up the whole system. However, if you want to charge the batteries, the 18650 Lithium Balancing and Protection Extension Board must be connected to JB2. Then we use the external indicator and switch of JB2 to show the status or control the whole system. After connection, let's power up the system. You can see, in this video, blue LED stands for Bluetooth, red LED for charging, and green LED for power. The external switch cable can be used to control the on-off of the whole system. Just notice that when using JB2 and JB3 together, the switch cable must be connected to JB2 instead of JB3. So far, all cables are connected, and let's connect the Bluetooth. For this 2.1 system, we can use the four potentiometers on JB3 to adjust the gain and cutoff frequency of both JB2 and JB3. The default settings of the four potentiometers of 2.1 system are Port 1 for gain of subwoofer output of JB3, Port 2 for bandpass filter of subwoofer output of JB3, Port 3 for high pass filter of speaker output of JB2, and Port 4 for overall volume of JB2 and JB3. Please note that the adjustment cannot be recovered, and the frequency adjustment may damage your speakers or subwoofer. Please pay attention to the applicable frequency range of your output devices. Now let's see their performance.
Then we use one of two channel 30 watts JAB2 and two channel 30 watts JAB3 to build a 4.0 system. The connection is the same with 2.1 system, but the default settings of the four potentiometers have changed. The default settings of the four potentiometers on JAB3 of the 4.0 system are Port 1 for gain of speaker output of JAB3, Port 2 for high pass filter of speaker output of JAB3. Port 3 for high pass filter of speaker output of JB2 and Port 4 for overall volume of JB2 and JB3. I got this. 